We're here today to launch the, the book by John Emsley of The Molecules of Murder, which is a great new popular science book that we're putting out from the Royal Society of Chemistry. Molecules of Murder is about uh, crimes, uh, generally crimes of poisoning, uh, and it's looked at these from the point of view of the toxin itself, the poison itself, rather than looking at, as most books do, at the murderer or the victim. It's great to have some of the actors here from uh, Crippin and his wife to highlight here some of the stories and the human interest from the book that John's produced. Um, they bring it to life a bit for the people that are here and it's a very famous story that everybody's heard about, the Crippin murders. The Crippin murder happened in the early 1900s, about 100 years ago. Well, the story of Crippen's all about Edwardian respectability and the mismatch between himself and his second wife, Cora Crippen, who was also known as Belle Elmore. He really wanted out of that relationship, and so he got rid of her. There is evidence that he, he used poison to kill her, a, a drug called hyacine, to which he had access. Belle was murdered with an unusual poison, hyacine. Crippen must have had reasons for choosing this particular agent and it gives us a clue as to how he hoped to commit the crime and also why he suddenly had to resort to a rather messy plan B. And it was unusual. I mean, the point of this book is not to look at famous murders from the point of view of the victim or the murderer, but as a chemist to look at it from the point of view of the toxic agent that was used. I think it's an excellent read and it's, a, it's written um, in a style that... Uh, even non-chemists or even non-scientists could read. Anybody with a, with a fascination for popular science would find the book fascinating. John comes at them from a new angle because he's looking at the chemist uh, from a chemist's point of view. And I'm trying to focus people on uh, the poison. And if you understand the poison and the forensic science behind it, then very often you get a different slant on a murder case. And within this book I've looked at several murders that way and come up to slightly different conclusions as the ones generally accepted. It's a very good time to publish books that are about popularisation of science to do with um, death and murder and that sort of thing. Anybody who really has an interest in, in murder, mysteries and chemistry, then this is certainly for you. I'm excited about reading it because um, I like poison. I'm fascinated with uh, what they do and why they kill you. There's a lot of recent interest in these sorts of murders and with the CSI generation these days it's, it's all very topical. The book should have a very wide appeal. I thoroughly enjoyed it, I, I couldn't put it down.